and do your stretching. Let's get right into this tech daily, of course. Um, we are going to be unpacking some amazing stuff. Yep. Now, to help reduce the future impact of climate change, more and more of us need to recycle our purchased good, goods. But it can be difficult to identify what is recyclable. Uh, recyclable? Mm. Is that What's one? recyclable? <laughs> and what isn't? However, a new development wait for it, dubbed invisible barcodes, which could, act, which could actually help everyone, including recycling centres, identify recyclable material that more quickly. Now, friend in tech, Brian Smith is here to help us explore this a bit more. I mean, what is it? <laughs> <Morning>. <laughs> Brian, morning, good morning. morning. <laughs> Always so good to see you, but let's start right at the beginning. What mm -hmm. exactly are these invisible barcodes yeah. and how exactly do they work? How, how are they going to be identified by machinery? Mm. I absolutely love sort of these developments because because it's the littlest things that go the longest way. Yeah. I think what's really exciting is that most people are familiar with a barcode and perhaps a QR code which they might scan through their mm -hmm. mobile phone. Mm. And essentially this takes this kind of technology to the next level in a very subtle way. Mm. If you consider with a QR code, it's normally uh, black on white. It's, yes. it's a series of uh, squares on shape that can be translated to a hyperlink or text. Yeah. And essentially what this technology does is that it maps sort of those squares and units onto physical product packaging through colors that are minutely different, so you won't be able to really see them with the human eye. However, looking through a smartphone camera or an infrared scanner, for example, mm. that can pick them up precisely. So what you eventually have is a barcode that's not perceptible to the human eye, but that can be read by machinery, and that can be processed wow. by anything mm. from a smartphone camera yeah. to a hardware scanner or to any new infrared scanner that comes to the market. Okay, oh. that's very interesting, actually, but now for those of us, like customers, they actually use plastic bags. How is that thing going to be, you know, recyclable, and all of that, so I, I'm, I'm still trying to grasp my head around this. Sure, so the biggest problem when you get sort of packaging from a product, right, mm -hmm. is that usually it's made up of different components and that some are recyclable and some aren't. Mm. So you don't have a really good sense of what exactly to do with that packaging and how to dispose of it responsibly. Mm. So the idea here is that using your phone, you could scan this essentially to get heads up information of how you can safely dispose of this or recycle it. Yeah. And mm -hmm. what's really been tipped as a fun creative element for brands is that they could use this through augmented reality through a smartphone camera to create digital experiences, yeah. to share more about the product in addition to how you can actually dispose of it in the first place. Wow. Okay, so obviously this is going to have it's going to have an effect on all sorts of spaces of uh, the mm. recycling sort of ecosystem. But for recycling centres in particular, how can this help streamline where they recycle, uh, whether they look at recyclable or non-recyclable uh, materials to, uh, uh, to to work with? Unfortunately, recycling centres tend to face exactly the same problem we do mm. when we have to sort through sort of our end of the month refuse and decide what can be recyclable, or what can be recycled, and what can't. Yeah. So the biggest problem is when this arrives at a recycling de depot, people need to manually go and sift out actual recyclable elements or mm. different paper and plastics into different channels, which can then be reused. So using this technology, essentially, it removes the error of human margin of having to look at these products by eyes, and rather than machinery can actually separate these on track right from the get-go. So all human beings then need to do is actually deliver the right products to the right places, mm -hmm. and then this events plastic waste or harmful waste ending up in environments such as the ocean yeah. where it should never be. Yeah. Wow. Whenever you come here, I'm just like <laughs> mind blown because you're just like dropping little things. But I yeah. really think this is very smart. It's, it's good. It's, it's going to be amazing. So I think, you know what? Thank you so much for always coming here and just delivering Thanks. everything, you know. Yeah. So do uh, be sure to keep up with the latest tech news on bandwithblog.com. And of course, Brian Smith was in the studio with us today to give us all that tech news.